It's important to help people during the pandemic, and it's especially important to help the unsheltered during the pandemic. So Tuesdays is one of the days I deliver. Um, and about midday, I call Musong up on Beacon Hill to just remind them that I'm going to be there. And can I please have 50 meals? I always feel bad asking for 50, right? But they never hesitate, right? There's always some delicious meal. Marie has been incredible. I know that she's been delivering two days a week. Um, she's been working with us and other folks um, that operate as kitchen, community kitchens. Um, and just seeing the stories and hearing the stories and families that call in and families that um, have been able to provide meals for their children. Um, a lot of folks that would never have the resource for this like are able to get fed um, and that's important for us. So here you go. Nice looking pasta. Thank you. you know, I asked for 50 meals and I can get rid of them all at the Seattle Center. It's kind of startling that I can find that many people in such a small area. But what I'm also finding more of is uh, uh, newly unsheltered people. Um, I can tell because, I mean, after doing this for a while, you know, I can tell that, you know, their clothes are still clean, especially their jackets, their shoes um, don't look like they've got many miles on them. Um, their backpacks are still relatively clean. Yeah, seeing a lot more of that. Do you have any lotion? Lotion, yeah. Yay. I can't do what I do without a village of people. I mean, I just bring the, I just bring the meals, I just bring the treats, the water. My friend Gina, oh my gosh, Gina Jansen, she has provided already 300 pairs of socks. It's like you'd think I was giving them a brick of gold because socks are that important to people who are spending their days on their feet. Uh, my friends, John and Chris, I, a box of 240 masks, 240 masks arrived at my door. My, my great nephews have made goodie bags. Actually, um, before pandemic, they would actually help me deliver. So where do you find the safest place? So it takes a lot longer now to deliver because I end up chatting with everyone or at least those who seem like they want to be engaged. It's important to me to do that because sometimes I'm the only person they've talked to all day long or maybe not since the last time I was there. And it's important to me that they have some sense of respect and, and dignity um, because that's what we all want, right? We're all people. We all want the same thing. Uh, we haven't been a couple for more than 20 years now. Um, and six years ago, he was diagnosed with very early onset Alzheimer's, and I've been caring for him ever since. Just to see how good he feels, and even if it's just in that moment, because he may not remember it the next moment, I'm going to keep bringing him along as long as I can, because he's still able to give, and he, he still feels that. We all do what we can. Hashtag we all do what we can. Watch City Stream Thursday nights at 7 on the Seattle Channel. Or get video on demand and podcasts anytime at seattlechannel.org.